Hello. In this lesson, I'll talk about e-commerce. I'll describe the basic definition of e-commerce and why it's important in our economy today. I'll also talk about the major different types of electronic commerce systems. E-commerce is a business of buying and selling goods online. Since the widespread use of the internet, the amount of online purchases has steadily increased. E-commerce is based on transactions. There are many different types of transactions that can be performed by many different devices. Because of this, e-commerce involves many different types of technologies. These include mobile devices, supply chain management systems, point of sale systems, electronic data interchange or EDI, and online transaction processing systems, also known as OLTP. Because of the size and complexity of these systems, they represent very good opportunities for IT personnel to maintain these systems. E-commerce represents an important and growing part of the worldwide economy. If you look at this chart, you can see that e-commerce is becoming an increasingly large portion of retail sales. I should note that this chart, even though it represents billions of dollars in sales, only represents retail sales. It does not include a very large volume of business-to-business -business online transactions or consumer-to-consumer -consumer transactions. As part of the second quarter of 2016, e-commerce accounted for 8.1% of the total retail sales in the United States. In this quarter, the sales accounted for over $97 billion in transactions. This gives you an idea of the size and the growth and importance of e-commerce in our society today. I should also note that these figures are only a U.S.-based figure. It does not include the worldwide growth of e-commerce as well. As you can see, e-commerce is steadily growing is becoming more and more important part of the worldwide economy. It's also a very important part of computer science and software development. Now that we've looked at the basic definition of e-commerce, let's look at the different types of e-commerce that are used today. These types are the general definition of all the kinds of transactions that major systems utilize today. The first is business to consumer or B2C e-commerce. These systems are designed to allow businesses to make basic sales to consumers online. The next type of business to business or B2B commerce. These systems allow businesses to automate their sales and purchases to other companies online. Following this is consumer to business or C2B types of transactions. These represent a smaller portion of e-commerce sites but represent a growing number of systems. The next type of e-commerce system is the consumer-to-consumer -consumer or C2C type of system. These systems allow consumers to sell products and services to other consumers directly. The last major type of e-commerce system is government-to-citizen or G2C types of systems. These systems allow government agencies to automate services to citizens online. Now we'll look at each one of these types of systems in more detail. B2C systems allow businesses to sell directly to consumers online. Companies like Amazon.com are the most well-known examples of this. Many companies operate both retail locations and online simultaneously. For example, companies such as Best Buy have retail locations as well as large online businesses. This can lead to a problem called channel conflict. Using Best Buy as an example, you may go into a retail location and find that a product has a different price in the store than it does online. This can represent a huge problem for large companies to deal with. It often leaves consumers with a bad experience with the company. In addition, many traditional companies have had difficulty in moving to online sales. Traditional companies often do not have the expertise to support the 24 by 7 nature of online e-commerce systems. These companies, however, will have to find a way to compete with other online retailers as more and more transactions move online. The next type of e-commerce system is a B2B or business-to-business e-commerce. These systems allow businesses to automate buying of goods and services from their business partners. They're designed for high-volume purchases and are used to increase supply chain efficiencies. These systems help companies lower costs and increase competitiveness. Large companies will often require their business partners to utilize e-commerce systems in order for them to be a qualified business partner. This can sometimes lead to major problems for small businesses that want to work with large companies. However, these systems are becoming more and more commonplace even for small companies to utilize over time. The next type of e-commerce I'll discuss is the consumer-to-consumer -consumer or C2C type of transaction. 
These systems are designed to provide a basic marketplace so that consumers can sell goods and services to other consumers directly. Websites such as eBay are a classic example of this type of system. These systems provide for basic services such as listing products, shipping, billing, and returns. They allow consumers to provide online products and services with little or no infrastructure. Many of these types of systems will charge some type of fee in order to support their online services. These types of systems represent a growing portion of the economy. The last type of e-commerce system that I'll describe is the government to citizen or G to C type of system. These systems allow government agencies to provide basic services electronically rather than traditional form-based or paper-based systems. One of the major goals of these types of systems is to allow government agencies to lower the cost of basic delivery of services. Older paper-based systems require large amounts of manual labor, which is very expensive in today's market. As government agencies become more challenged with shrinking budgets, they're looking to automation to help lower costs. A typical service in this space might be something like the IRS system that allows taxpayers to file their taxes online. In addition to filing, the system also handles online payments as well. More of these services are on the way from government agencies as cost becomes a more critical driver in today's economy. In summary, e-commerce is an important growing part of our economy. More and more companies are pushing to have a large web presence and the amount of online transactions is steadily growing. All of this is good news for IT professionals since the demand for personnel to develop, operate, and maintain these systems is growing. This concludes this lesson on e-commerce. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.